For all you cross-dressers out there, this is part one of cross-dressing. This is Brandon. He's going to be our model for today, and we're going to watch him transform into Brittany. By day, he lives as a man, and for fun at night, he becomes Brittany. So I first advise you guys to put on a bra so you can start feeling a little feminine. <laughs> we have to get the bra out of the drag bag. <laughs> And the reason for the drag bag is, is so you can have just one special bag, you know, to keep all your drag in so your wives don't find out. And this is the drag bag where we keep all of our drag in. To be a drag queen, you have to have a boa. So, we'll just get all these little drag queen articles out of the bag. Gotta have heels. Pumps. What is a drag queen without pumps? Depending on the mood of the night, you know, you can have flats. If you're feeling kind of sexy, you can also. Let's go back to Miss Kimberly. Oh, you have, you have to put on a bra before you start putting on your makeup so you can get into that woman, you know, mode. You have to get into a transy mode. You start feeling like a woman. <laughs> Button me up, Kimberly. Bald headed drag queen. <laughs> and to make me feel a little bit more like that. And that. And some glitter. What about the brands? Oh, yeah, well, we'll put those in after. It's kind of uncomfortable. You put your titties in after. Okay, we'll start with her makeup. Most of you guys are going to be using foundation and powder. Ours is combined for convenience. You apply on the forehead first with upward strokes so you don't create any wrinkles. Her eyebrows are pretty thin, so I don't have to do much to them. Apply it till it's even, an even tone, even color. And you want to try to match your skin color by applying the powder first on your arm, like this. And if it matches there, it should match your face. Apply the powder till your complexion is pretty even. And if you have facial hair, you have to apply more in those areas. Um, I don't have facial hair, so I don't have that problem. What do you do in that situation? Well, most transvestites, um, we don't live a, you know, a seven day, you know. A 24 hours, yeah, seven days a, a week. We're not transies 24 seven. We only do it like mostly like two or three times a week. So, in the event, whenever you're going to plan to dress up, you let your facial hair grow up until that day, and then you can freshly shave and it's smooth. Like, tomorrow I wouldn't be able to dress up because I'll have that shadow. And then next, it's not very attractive. after you apply your powder, you highlight your face, your cheekbone. Close your eyes, please. Your eyebrow bone. Your forehead. Your nose. And your chin. 
You can lighten some areas with some lighter powder. Like underneath the eyes. Look up for me, please. And that makes your cheekbones look higher. Underneath the cheekbones. That'll raise them a little bit. And the tip of your nose. Next, you would darken your eyebrows. His eyebrows are pretty cleaned up, so I'm just going to follow the natural orange. There's many options. You can cover them with wax, so you don't have to take any off. Or you can pluck them, wax them. Or you can shave them off and draw them yourself. cheeks are really dark, underneath his eyes are highlighted, and you can see the feminine look is starting to appear. Next, you would put on some eyeliner before you put on your eyelashes. A thin layer following the eyeliner. Are you starting to feel like a Britney? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Open. 